specific financial information needed and a plea for an extension of time for the purpose of creating a solid financial and enrollment plan for the future. This plan could incorporate ideas of seeking out new ways to raise money, create scholarships, and reach out to community and business leaders to recognize the benefits that a faith-based education provides to the entire community. Although the position of our leaders did not change and we were not granted these requests, there was a sense from our team when they left that meeting that the parishioners' collective support and opinions could still influence the effort and change the outcome. It is with this sense of hope, coupled with the overwhelming response by all of you in attendance here tonight, that have encouraged us to explore keeping our St. John the Evangelist Save Our School efforts on course. So now, where are we? We essentially have 60 days to act swiftly before the end of the school year for our collective voices to be heard, but we need action taken by everyone. We are asking the following. To wear your St. John the Evangelist pin, everyone has a pin, um, this weekend and at every Mass until St. John's remains open. If there are not enough pins, I will gladly make more. Fill out the pledge cards, which I know that Rick will be talking in more detail about those. Uh, donating your time, talents, and treasures.